Yiko. I'm listening. You've been a bad robot. Return to station. Hey guys, it's Zachary from Huawei Zone, and today we're going to be talking about this the Ecovacs DBot X2 Omni, their latest flagship robotic floor cleaner, and the reason why my Dyson has been standing very lonely at a corner for the past month. The X2 Omni is Ecovacs' very first square shaped robotic cleaner, so that Basically, it can get as close to your wall as possible. Plus, the sort of squared angled corners will allow the side sweeping hands to get, you know, deep into your corners to sweep things out. Now, Ecovacs claims that the X2 Omni is able to cover up to 99.77% of open area, which is a weirdly specific number to claim, but that's what they're going with. Obviously, you and I know that that's not really possible unless your house is devoid of any kind of furniture and it's just one big square. This is also their most compact robot to date, I believe. I have a little measuring tape here. It's about 31 cm in width and under 10 cm in height. I think the official uh, specs is 9.5 cm with a completely flat top, which means that the X2 Omni can navigate your home, go under more things, go around more things than any other robot before it. Now, being the flagship device, it also has basically updated internals, updated specs, it has updated uh, sensors, updated cameras, it has the most suction power, it has the highest battery life, it has the largest, a cleaning roller. It has the chunkiest wheels. I believe it also can go up the highest obstacle of any Ecovacs robot. It's 22 mm in buff, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I have more to say about that um, later when we talk about performance, but yes, it can you know, get up the most things. It has auto retracting mopping pads. So for example, if the robot detects that you're going up onto carpets, it can lift up the pads so as not to wet your carpet. So lots of smarts in this updated AI navigation, updated uh, object detection, updated voice assistant. This, uh, it's called Yiko and this has Yiko 2.0. It also is able to be operated. And this is the most fun that, that I found the use for as a sort of a remote home security system because it has a camera, you can turn it on, it has motion detection, but I've also had a lot of fun playing with it while it's mopping and, and cleaning the house. I just turn on the camera and just follow it around. It's sort of um, fun. Hmm. You can remove the top and reveal a very small, I think 0.4 liter dustbin. Although the size of this isn't that much of an issue because we have the Omni Station, which basically does everything for you. It, it you know auto empties the dustbin. It has a bag here. It auto cleans and refills dirty and clean water into the mopping pads. It even cleans the mopping pads for you and this oh, the X2 Omni, this new uh, Omni station also is able to clean and dry your mopping pads with warm water and hot air, which according to Ecovacs is more sanitary because it kills more germs that way instead of just cold water. The robot itself, I find it's quite easy to clean. I mean, you can remove this if you want to. If it gets dirty, you can rinse it out. You can remove the mopping pads. Most of the things on the robot can be like removed and sort of cleaned as well. So when things do get a bit dirty, 
you can manually remove them and, and clean it out. Now, before we go into all the AI navigation stuff, let's talk about performance because that's why you're buying this in the first place, right? Does it suck properly? Can it you know, mop properly? Can it clean properly? Can it replace your sort of manual cleaning routine around the house? The X2 Omni is their flagship, like I said, so this has the highest suction power, 8,000 Pascal units of suction. And when you compare that with its predecessor, the X1 Omni, which only had 5,000 Pascal units of suction, you know, if you're just gonna look at a brochure and it's like, whoa, this is a lot, you know, bigger, a lot more suction. And to an extent that's true, but it's it's not a, a unit of measurement that, that translates well between products. Like for example, if you're talking just Ecovax, yes, this has the highest suction power of all their robots, but there are a lot of other things that come into play when, when you compare it with things like your cordless uh, stick vacuum cleaners, once you get into like your Dyson's or your Samsung's, those start to get into five digit, you know, 12,000, 15,000 Pascal units of suction, which is then a lot more than your robot vacuum cleaners. And it doesn't help that people like Dyson also have their own measurement called Air Watts, which is something that they use for their own machines. So you, you can't really compare just between machines whether you know just because it sucks more it sucks better there are a lot of things to consider as well you know things like your sweeper here or the roller bar I, i've already said that x2 omni has also the longest roller bar in all of ecovax machines and if you look at the sweeper hands it actually even extends and covers the roller bar it, it actually reaches the roller bar so as it sweeps dirt into the center it actually sweeps into the roller bar itself so that probably helps the x2 omni uh, clean better the roller bar itself is longer larger this is a rubber roller bar it, it works on most surfaces to sort of pick up dirt and dust now how does it actually perform over the past month that i've used it i think the x2 omni performs okay it is very, very good. I think it's great on a day-to-day -day basis if you're just cleaning up, you know, general dust that, that falls on the ground. It's actually really good at, at getting hair, to my surprise. Um, it's actually able to capture a lot of it and it doesn't get stuck uh, in between the gears. I'm actually able to very easily remove things and just pick up the hair and throw it away. So that seems to work really well for me. But it's not really that great for spot cleaning. I tried to throw a bunch of coffee grounds I had on the floor and see how it cleans it. Okay, so close inspection. There's still some coffee stains on the ground. There's still some here there we go and it has sort of spread my coffee out further into where it was it started from there it went yeah, 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 yeah. and some of the coffee is now here it doesn't get into the grout and this little sweeper hand as it moves so while it's sweeping things into the center, on the side, it actually does sweep things out as well. But of course, with robot vacuum cleaners, and I'm not just talking about Ecovacs here, this is, this is more of a robot vacuum cleaner problem, and you have to think about this. A lot of their navigation and cameras are for object detection and avoidance. They're not really able to detect what is dirt. So once it moves past an area, it's not going to come back and, and clean that area because it knows that area is dirty. It does not know that area is dirty. Now, the other thing is the mopping pads. The Ecovacs has, and most robot vacuum cleaners with mopping pads, right? You're able to put water in it, clean water. It, it will clean the pad, it will wet the pad, and it will mop your house. And it does a pretty good job with it, but the problem here is that you can't really dump your usual uh, floor cleaners in this 
is uh, because it's going to foam up too much and you don't know what that will do to the mechanisms inside will it clog it will, will the the detergent you know spoil your machine now if you can see here it's it's slightly pink because i couldn't stand just using plain water because it just doesn't my floor just doesn't seem that clean when it's just plain water i had to use a bit of detergent ecovax sells their own sort of detergent liquid that is made for the robot cleaners but that's just one more thing that you have to buy from a very specific brand if you want to use these machines right i just put a small amount of my usual floor detergent into this and so far it's been okay just don't put that much that it starts to foam up and all that and you're probably good to go but ecovacs themselves do not recommend this so another thing to think about when you're using this to clean so basically it does a good job day-to-day -day cleaning there, there are going to be corners and, and crevices that you can't see that a robot can't get into that you have to get in to clean the problem with relying on a robot too much is that you might end up having those areas not clean in a very long time and end up having an even dirtier house if that makes sense Mm. The one thing I do really like about the X2 Omni is that the Ecovax app is very, very comprehensive. There's a lot of options that you can choose in there on how the robot cleans your home, set schedule zones and all that. Um, whether you just want to vacuum, just want to mop, vacuum and mop, mop after vacuum, uh, set the, the power of, of the, the vacuum and, and the duration of the mopping, when it goes back to clean, when it goes back to empty. There's just so many things that you can set up um, so that, you know, to have the robot clean your home just the way you like it. Now, one thing I, I found that it actually defaults to vacuum and mop at the same time, which is not that efficient because as it's vacuuming, it's mopping behind. If the vacuuming hasn't been that efficient in that area, the, the mop just wets that area and, and, and dirt just gets stuck there. So I've always found that it actually performs better if you use a mop after vacuum function. So you let it vacuum first, it will go back and then come out again to mop your home. Obviously, that takes twice as long, but it, it really is a lot cleaner that way. Okay, let's get to the fun stuff, the AI and navigation things. This is what makes the X2 Omni sort of interesting because this is one of the first, if not the first, um, robot cleaner with a solid state LiDAR built in now. LiDAR isn't new to robot vacuum cleaners. They've been around for many years and almost every robot cleaner now has a LiDAR. They're all usually on top. There's this circular you know, top thing that protrudes out, right? A LiDAR is a light detection and ranging. It's basically a laser technology for, to, to, to see how far things are and helps it navigate. Uh, but usual LiDAR, the ones on top are circular because it actually moves around. On the X2 Omni, this is actually a solid state LiDAR, so it doesn't move, it's fixed into the side of the robot. And that's how Ecovax has managed to get this in, in a slimmer body, more compact body, and a totally flush uh, top, flat top. Now, because the LiDAR is only on, the, on one side, on the left side, the view, the angle that the LiDAR can see is I think only about 210 degrees. So it, you know, it can see like here instead of 360 degrees. So on one hand, you might think that this sort of a downgrade, but when I talked to Ecovex, you know, they, they sort of said that the robot moves in one direction, it always moves to the left. So it doesn't really need to see what is behind it on the right. So every time it moves, when it sees obstacles, when it, when it tries to see range and detection, right, it goes like that and it moves always on the left. So it moves around your house always on the left as well. So it gets to corners, it moves on the left. It always moves towards that. So it only needs to see sort of this area, which is where the LiDAR is and not the back here. Now the other upgraded uh, sensors are the RGB sensors and cameras on the front it also has sensors at the bottom 
for detection of objects and when it can mount things. It also has the old school bumpers. So even with all these advanced lidars and camera sensors, it has old school bumpers like any other robot vacuum cleaners. Now my experience with the X2 Omni is sort of a mixed bag. It's, it's actually an interesting mixed bag because I realized that object detection and avoidance is different from AI navigation. So in the app, when you ask it to, to sort of uh, clean your home, you can actually, there's a toggle that selects between your know, AI navigation or not. So if you turn that off, I assume that it just runs a normal routine around your house after it, it's, it's, it's done its detection and mapping of your home. It knows where things are. You will just move accordingly to some algorithm. But if you turn AI navigation on, very interestingly, the X2 Omni basically moves around with a mind of its own, like a drunken baby crawling around the floor. Can you see this line? This is what AI does. Look at that line. The mop line. Oh, oh, it's, it's, it's going weird. It decides to go there, and then here, and then here. And, yep, we're following the line. It's like following a snail. Okay, it decides to come here, back into where the chairs were. Um, yep, my chair obstacle course. And basically, it seems to have a mind of its own. At the end of the day, it does seem to cover all the areas, you know, whether or not AI navigation is turned on or off. It's just very interesting to note. Now, like I said, AI object detection is a different thing and the whole machine learning thing does seem to work. At the beginning, it has knocked down a, a one or two things before and I've learned that you know, it doesn't matter how advanced these uh, machine learning or AI algorithms are, you sort of still need to adjust your home to make sure that number one, it has enough space for the robot to go through. Like for example, my chairs, you know, if you want it to get in between, you do have to leave leeway and space for it. Uh, if you do have things that are breakable, like vases or glass, you don't want to leave it on something that it might knock into, right? So even though it's not supposed to, you never know. The other thing I want to talk about is right at the beginning, I also mentioned about the chunky wheels and how this is actually able to go up you know, quite a high so obstacles, 22 mm. And it does try its best to go over things. I'm not knocking the X2 Omni. I'm not knocking Ecovax. This is something that happens with all robot vacuum cleaners, no matter how advanced the, the AI is. You just have to know that it's not going to recognize everything like you recognize something, right? If it's low enough and it's supposed to mount it, it will try to mount it. If, you, you know, you just have to make sure your home is robot safe before you let it roam around. I already know the, the sort of hot spot, the danger spots around my house. The few things that it seems to always have trouble with identifying or getting over or, or just avoiding instead of giving me that, that sort of anxiety of this time will it mount that cable? How about you? Do you have an Ecovax robot vacuum cleaner? Or maybe you have the X2 Omni as well. What are your experiences with them? Would you let your robot clean your house while you're not there? Tell me all this in the comments below. I'd love to hear what your experiences are. Check out howwayzone.com for other tech news, reviews, and stories. Have a nice day. See you in the next video. Hey guys, before you go, don't forget to check out hardwarezone.com, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, join in the conversation, like and subscribe to our YouTube if you want to see more of these videos. Do it.